Hey guys, welcome you all in this new video. Recently, I was spending a lot of time on social media, I saw many artists creating awesome artworks in these quarantine days, and some of them tried modeling coronavirus. So, here is my version on this. The scene file is available for free to download on Gumroad, the link is in description. And consider donating some amount of money for the scene file, if you can, it is not necessary, but it inspires me a lot to create a lot more nice tutorials for you. And also consider subscribing my YouTube channel, as you are going to see very awesome tutorials in the coming days, I am trying to release them very soon. Anyways, let's get started by just deleting the default cube and adding a UV sphere and then, just make the edge loop sequel horizontally and vertically. Shade it smooth. For spikes, I just took a cylinder, as I find it easy to bring the shape from it, and then press tab to go in edit mode and then, just select the top face and resize it a little bit. Start extruding it by pressing E and then resizing it again, and go on the same way till you achieve the desired shape. And finally, for the upper part of spike enable the proportional editing by pressing O on your keyboard and then press G to press the upper part of spike a little bit. Scroll on mouse to reduce the influence or fall off of the proportional editing. And then, shade it smooth. Scale it down a bit. And then move it up a little to bring the origin point to the bottom. Now, I am going to add a particle system on the UV sphere to grow that spikes on it. Change the type to hair and reduce the particle count, check advanced, check rotation, and under, render as, change it from path to object, and select the cylinder object. That we transformed into the spike part of virus. As you can see, now we have a problem that these spikes are not correctly aligned. And if you try all these options one by one to check that, if any of the rotation methods works, but, none of the options seems to work. So, I tried rotating the spike itself, but the important step after every time you rotate is to apply the rotation, by pressing Ctrl plus A. And, rotating this way worked for me, all the spikes are facing correctly now. Scale it down a little so that it does not look too big or ugly. For the inner part, I am going to duplicate the UV sphere and then, remove the particle system and scale it down a little bit. and quickly assign materials and their viewport color so that it is easy to differentiate. I am going to make outer part greenish and inner part reddish and as per, I have assigned indicative colors. For outer material that is greenish one, I am going to start with a glass shader. And let me add an aerial lamp so that I could view shader. Change the color to green for the glass shader and turn the IOR value to 1.33. And add an emission shader. 
and change the strength to a very low value, about 0.1. Then I just took an RGB node to have the same color value for both the nodes. And mix both these nodes using Mix Shader node. And, I just took a Fresnel node with a color ramp and an invert node to shade a mission shader on a specific place and for that, I used the output from invert node as the factor for the mix. And for the better look, I use the noise texture for the displacement and a color ramp to control the contrast of noise texture. And for that, a displacement node is required to create the bumps from black and white texture. And now, let's jump on to texture the inner part, and to see that, I just selected the inner UV sphere and pressed slash on the number pad. And that shows me local view or isolated view for the selected object. And for the inner part, I just used a meat image texture, you can select any texture that looks good to you. The texture I found is not seamless, so I cannot tile it. If I change the scale on X and Y axis to scale the UVs, I can see the seams, there are many methods to fix this. But I am too lazy to make it seamless. And now, let me see how it looks in rendered view. I just took the same image and converted it into black and white using a color ramp, and now I can use it as a roughness map. And, tweak the roughness using the slider of the color ramp. And now, what I am going to do is, mix another meat texture with this to bring some variation in it, as the current texture is too scaled up. So I took another texture that looks very different from this and mixed it up using a mix shader node. And for the roughness, I did the same, what I did for the previous texture, duplicate the image texture, and use the color ramp to change it to black and white, and use it as a roughness map. And, of course, you can use the slider of the color ramp to tweak the roughness value. And mix both of these textures in a ratio that looks good to you. I am not much satisfied with the results till now, so let me have a little bit change in the greenish shader, because that does not look too good, and it is a bit transparent. So what I am going to do is, mix that green color with some noise for the emission shader. And adjust some settings, so that it looks even nicer.
Now, what I am going to do is just apply the particle system, as I want that as one single object, and I don't need any further change in the particle system. And, as I applied the particle system, it created every spike as a new object, and as all that spikes are selected by default. So what I did is selected the outer UV sphere while pressing shift key so that it becomes an active object, and then press ctrl plus J to join all the selected objects. And finally, remove the particle system, as we have applied it already. Now, I am going to join inner MIDI part with that outer, by selecting both of them and pressing ctrl plus J. And I used a little bit of noisy displacement for MIDI texture too. And now I have added this cube for some volume metrics, this is additional and if you have any other idea, you are free to do that. And for the volume metrics, instead of using principled volume node, I prefer taking an emission shader, and use it in the volume socket of the output node. Reduce the emission strength, as it is too high, and also change the color and brightness of the emission color. I am going to control the emission strength, using a color ramp. You can also use a particle system to make them a lot in number, instead of a single as they look more believable in a bit more density. turn of the gravity, otherwise they will fall down, I want them to float in the air. And for the frame start and end, I want that they all are emitted before frame 1.
on frame 1, set a location keyframe for the plane at this location, and move the plane back to its original location, and on frame 0, set another location keyframe for the plane. So that, when the animation starts it looks like this.